What a surprise, Elke Klein. Hi. How are you doing? Have you, uh, you've been here long? You've been here for the rest of the day? Or? Um, yeah, I arrived this morning, um, just walked around a little bit, went to some seminars. and. Um, okay. yeah. You're based in Rotterdam, right? Uh, producing legend, DJ legend. Tell us a little bit about your production stuff. Um, well, I've, I've been working on a lot of new things. Uh, well, the, the last album I did, of course, was uh, Untold Stories, which was out late last year on, on manual music. I've done a couple of al um, singles since, and we've had like the the, the, the remix singles from the uh, from the um, album coming up. Um, but for the next coming months, there's actually there's one or two new releases, both on my own uh, on my own label outside the box music, uh, that are coming up. And I'm yeah, I'm really looking forward to this, trying to get a a good good sound onto the label. I know that you're doing a lot of uh, TV stuff and uh, commercial stuff. Tell us a little bit about that. How did you get involved? Um, well, I think it was like three years ago uh, when I told the guys from my management that that was something I was really interested in and wanted to get into. Um, and well, they you know they, they took that up and they started to, to make some contacts. And I, I started out just by doing really small things, you know, like small animations, doing all the sound design, doing all the uh, the music. Um, and, and lately that has gone to doing, uh, you know, trying to score Hollywood trailers, um, doing music for commercials and things like that. And it's for me, it's something because my, my music has always been really like musical, you know, sometimes almost too musical for the dance floor. And it's, it's a way to, uh, to still put all that musical creativity somewhere but not on the dance floor, you know? So. Where did all that creativity come from then, musically? I mean, do you, do, were you classically trained? Yeah, I, I've been playing piano since I was 12, um, classical piano. And I've always listened, you know, because when I was just getting into dance music, I started out with, with trance. So that was also really heavily um, yeah, synthesized, you know? Um, so I guess that's still somewhere inside, you know? And, and I, I, I also, nowadays, I like a lot of rhythmic music. But still, you know, when I'm in the studio and I try to do variation on music, I'm, I'm very quickly to grab an instrument or something and play something. And so I'm, I'm glad that I can put that into other things now. Yeah. You're very definitely a, a part of this next generation of Dutch artists that are just about to take over the globe. Uh, how well have you been received abroad, you know, obviously as a DJ? Uh, how has that taken off for you? Um, pretty well, actually. Uh, it, it, it started, I think, when I did my, my first album on Global Underground. That was like the, it, yeah, it, it launched me onto the scene, you know, and after that I started touring South America, uh, Eastern Europe, you know, North and Africa, all these, all these places I, I didn't play before. And that has still, I'm, I'm still kind of, well, I, I wouldn't say I'm still going on that, but um, it, it helped the, the, the start of my career a lot. And um, that it's re I think nowadays it's really important that you have like, at least once a big label behind you that can do something like that for you, you know, because it's it's getting harder and harder to, to break through. Okay. And the next year, what have you got planned? What's going forward? Um, well, I went to start working on a new album. Um, I've, I'm kind of like thinking out ideas, you know, about the direction. Um, so I've only recorded one or two tracks. Uh, what I want to try and do is because the, the first two were both really, well, there were dance albums, but with some down, down tempo stuff. The next one I want to take more into a, maybe a Chemical Brothers type of reaction. Not, not, not necessarily sound-wise, but I like what they do with... Um, on the one hand, you got the, the, the club stuff, and you got the, the things that cross over to mainstream because of the vocals and the things, and that's something I'm, I'm really interested in. I would like to do something like that. And what about your festival agenda for this, this Amsterdam dance event? What have you, are you playing anywhere this yeah. week? Um, tomorrow I'm playing at uh, Vrij. It's, like, it's a really nice location. It's the Amsterdam bus terminal. Um, so they only open up to public like once or twice a year. Um, should be really good. I'm playing together with uh, Hernan Catano, uh, Miss Malera and Juan Sanchez and Eppelskal, I think. And then in the evening we have my, uh, my agency uh, showcase in Club NL, which is um, the Epicurus uh, ADE Reviver. And I'm playing from, I think, 4 till 5 or 3 till 5, something like that. You've got quite a few artists on that Club NL uh, lineup there, I saw that. Can you give us an insight into who's playing with you? Um, we got uh, Elio Rizzo from, uh, from his space residency. And then we got uh, Miss Malera, Apple Skull, and I think, and me. Well, yeah, that's it, I think. Okay. Yeah, well, Elke Klein, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Pleasure. Elke Klein.